Oh, nice. Sniper with a machine gun. I should be using pistols for these guys, shouldn't I? Oh, shit. I thought I could hide behind that wall. There's nothing on this. Oh, I forgot to change my skills over. That doesn't mention anything about any changes then. No. Nobody said anything about the game not working though. They just released a patch 55 minutes ago. Doesn't even know it's come out. Oh, here we go. A... Oh, I've gone through a vortex. Here we go. We're into... We're into a world of hurt again already. Wait, do those vortexes just teleport you? Because you could use that to your advantage to get out. Possibly could if you could run back to it. Oh, he's just throwing another one in my face again. Can't see. Oh, I missed time. Oh, maybe I didn't. That's all right then. Alright, let's deal with the ads and then see what we've got left. Right, so I have only got two of them, which is kind of cool. And one of them's down to half health already. No. Did I get that off? I don't know if I got that off. Question is, have you got one of the healing guys or not? Uh, well, he does heal. This is a very different fight with just me here. Much easier. Completely. They're dead. Did you see that on stream? Yeah. What? That is insanely diff. I mean, that's just. That's. That's not the same encounter. Because we tried it on World Tier 4, didn't we? I'll put that up yeah, to World we Tier on, 5 again, though. We were on 4, yeah. I can't believe that. That was just so. It Those guys went down like a, they were just a piece of cake. So what happens when you add more players into the mix? Does it um, obviously it adds more spawns, which we've saw, but does it just uh, increase the hit points or the level of them? Or because that was a completely different fight. That was another one of these pillars here, but I can't activate it. Yeah, there's loads of people now saying they can't get in. Okay. Oh, that sucks. Are they all? To this old console, or is it people on PC saying that they can't get in? Zahidi, I found some writing. Seems to be anthropological notes from a doctor in Dear Ocasio. A scientist among Monroe's people? I don't know what he said. What did you find? My guess is it she was documenting what happened to the native and the natives. Pax, they called them. The description matches August. She says they were welcomed with open arms. Pax. Yes, that would certainly fit, August. Incredible. Ah, uh, okay, this has just uh, opened up. I feel quite disappointed with that fight now, actually, because I, I wanted to beat it in the with the two of us going out there, because that was a real hard challenge, and we were finally getting there. And I feel like coming in single player, <laughs> I feel disappointed by it. So I'm looking forward to some bigger challenges later on. Yeah, just keep an eye on that um, situation. I'm sure the servers will be up hopefully sometime soon. 
Yeah, they're completely on Xbox. But yeah, you were uh, you carry on. I um Yeah, I was enjoying that. This is one of the few games where when you get killed, it, it doesn't really bother you because you can you know you can go back in, there's no real penalty. And the challenge is actually quite rewarding once you do it. Yeah. And it's nice because um usually when I get killed I can see exactly why I've got killed and I can usually see a, a way of getting around it or what I could have done differently. So when you get killed in a game and you look at it and you think, I couldn't have done anything different there. They're the ones that get frustrating. Oh, it's a dead guy, yeah? I found some pages written by Monroy, these people's leader. He led the raiding party into this canyon, believing it was the Pharaoh's base, that he could root them out. Maybe they were trying to help August's people. Tiago, does August know anything about this Monroy? I tried asking. But August won't speak about this place to me. Yeah, it sounds like it's an Xbox problem. Uh, oh, well, hopefully it'll be up soon. Then we'll get you back in. Yeah. Hey, we found a safe this is point. what happens when you, uh, when you try and do stuff live. <laughs> yeah, the joys. I've had, uh, I've had my computers try to do Windows updates and stuff while I've been streaming before. What's my theory on who Monroy is? I don't actually know at the moment, and I'm not even going to hazard a theory. I'm going to wait and see. Chucky, you think that sometimes with co-op games, the difficulty increase with other teammates isn't balanced properly, like in Borderlands? I can't speak to Borderlands, but I know exactly what you mean. Like, me and Aimless played outward, and um, I, it increased... I think it just increased the hit points of all the bosses by two. Might have increased their toughness and armor, I don't know. That's kind of the, the, the feeling we got from it, because if you played the same boss fight in solo mode, it went a hell of a lot quicker. But uh, sometimes when they do a change like that, in theory, you think, oh, yeah, it just means there's like twice as many hit points to chew away at. But it can affect the, um, the balance of the whole fight with how often the boss gets to trigger various abilities and everything else, and it doesn't just, doesn't just work as simply as it sounds. So, yeah, I know what you mean. All right, so there's all sorts of things down here. Oh, no, it's not back that way. It was a case of just throwing more bodies at you because there's more players to shoot them. I think sometimes that can be better, but it just makes it a lot more grindy. Yeah, it does. Really, I'm going to that bit of cover, am I? Okay. Well, let me lock onto the bit. There we go. What am I doing? Well, that's what we want to see. <laughs> oh, I found a big guy. Right, I better run away. Feels a lot more fluid suddenly. I don't know if that hits him or not. Ouch. There we go. I look like I got some sort of weird buff there of uh, an erect phallus. I'm not quite sure what that's supposed right to signify. Shouldn't you be waiting in the camp for my signal? Is it testosterone Could be. Could be. Viagra. There's got to be a chest around here somewhere. Did you get any good loot from the... Um, the no, bosses? they dropped next to nothing. The, the one that we killed when we were both in the game... Um, dropped a purple thing. I don't know what it was. I can't see where it went. Uh, but when I killed them, they dropped absolutely nothing of any particular worth that I could tell. 
And what's this? I've got uh, a decent looking assault rifle with a lot of a lot of firepower. Alright, that is quite nice. Quite liking the submachine gun. If you get in the face with it, it can be deadly. Yeah. Let's try this one. A tactical weapon, but we'll give it a go. I'm sh I just feel like I've missed a chest somewhere. I don't feel like I've had a chest in a while. Some very strange noises coming from this place. And the statues, they've all got cloths over their heads. They look kind of Cthulhu-esque. Oh, they're actually skeletons. Well, that's weird. They've got, like, flesh arms, but um, skeletal chest cavities. But I do like the art style. Oh! Oh, no. It just, it doesn't feel overly alien still. No, there might be a reason for that. Let's see what we get going oh, through yeah. here. All descendants of Buck Rogers as he catapulted himself forward into the this. 25th century. Oh, that's a real throwback there, Mark. <laughs> yeah, we're going back a bit now. Wasn't he, was it Scott Bakula? No, it was before him, I think. I don't know who played Buck Rogers. He was Quantum Leap. August. That's it, Quantum Leap. That was quality. What happened here? She needs to start talking now. Give us some idea of what's Incoming. going on. Get out of there! Now! Shit. Hide! In there! Go! It's a fight. I think. Is it a fight? Defend the entrance. But there's only you that can shoot. Am I supposed to run? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to run back out. Let's make sure I've got everything I need. Is there anything to pick up here? There's a way out the other side. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go back out and face them. This looks like a very human base set up in there. No, I still can't use this as cover. Oh, I'm supposed to be going all the way down here. All right, fair enough. I thought I said Pedro over the name of that guy there. Pedro the alien mutated beast. Ooh, I took that one. Oh, no, 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 no. You get a real tough fight with, like, humans or aliens or whatever they are, and then it throws you some of these little weird dogs in your way. make things easier. Okay, so that boulder dash, when I get stuck on a rock, it doesn't actually trigger quite as it should. Let's do some of this. <laughs> I like yellow numbers. That looks like an insane amount of firepower. Alright, so interesting boulder dash. For all I, I cover myself in rock and just go for it, it doesn't actually um, reduce any damage I take. So I, I, I can be quite easily damaged from piling in at them. Well, I'm liking that skill less and less. I do like the gravity leap, though. 
seems to work every time. Do you have to manually target it, or does it just lock on to the nearest enemy? It will lock to the nearest enemy, but you can still manually target it uh, with left and right, and you can change targets. So be as long as you, oh dear, um, vaguely point the mouse at what you want to target, it will uh, lock on quite well. Where did these come from? That's big. You giant cockroaches! I'm right here! I really want to know where these things came from. How is he holding this thing off? He should be dead. Take cover, quick! What's it turned her into? One of the things we've been killing all this time. It sure looks that way. He was dead. No! Stop. Oh, it's me, Diablo! You know me! Please, oh, I'm your friend! Diablo! I'm crazy. Um, I don't know what to think of this. I'm not terribly impressed with this bit of the story, I've got to say. Well, he looks like he's about to die. So basically, this uh, this juice, this anomaly power, it's basically stellar Artois. August? August's people weren't <laughs> wiped out by savages. They became savages. But why would they do that? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, growing blood splatter there. You still locked out the game? Outrider, we're burying. August yeah, it's not let me in. But like you that, join us? I, uh, this that really here. might have worked if you had some sort of I'm interaction with one. August Take and understood a little bit rates. more about them. But because they were just there. Yeah, I mean, there's there's been no sort of context about her people or anything leading up to that. I mean, maybe that was the bit that's supposed to explain everything but uh that was just sort of yeah could have been done better still i'm not at this game for the story i want to go shoot some more stuff oh there is a sneaky chest lurking at the back here oh there's a hell of a lot of stuff on the floor down there that i would not seen somewhere Let's see if there's any more gear Subpar voice acting, good gameplay, and mediocre story. I think the gameplay is, is, is everything in this. Story, I, I think it's quite forgettable, really. But, uh, 
not to say it's, it's an awful story I've, I've seen worse but not something I'd talk about um, ooh, that could be useful for certain situations not that you'll come back in a year's time and say hey do you remember Outriders God, that story that had me on the edge of my seat all the way through Double gun with the life stock. Reloading restores 680 points of health. I like the effects on that one, though. Still, I'm not overly... In oh, it's another bloody burst fire one. Which we could alter. I'll yeah, stick with that. that. Yeah. I'll stick with it. I'll find something better before long, anyway. Oh, hang on, hang on. What was that? That was new. It is only green, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's a shame. Right, let's get on to the next bit. Found something you should know about. More of Munroy's writing. Seems he discovered the same thing we did. About the Pax transforming. Does he say why? And why they would do that to themselves? No. Well, it seems Only to be thinking about that. stayed here for some time, studying and experimenting. Another keystone? No, I might have just run through there a bit too quickly. Whenever you're ready to head out, we'll be waiting for you at camp. That's what, the seventh, eighth, ninth of those stones that we've seen, we still don't know what they really do. They they occasionally open something up, but that said Forgotten Chapel, is it, is it giving me another little quest somewhere or open something up? Hey, Total Pips. Uh, yeah, this game is it's, it's actually really good. The, the gameplay, the gunplay, the fighting, the boss fights, it's, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. The looting is exciting to see what you're going to get, and I love all of that. But um, the, the story is a little bit sort of, uh, I think, subpar. <laughs> it's, it's a weird one. It doesn't really... Most of the characters are assholes in this, um, including the player character. And it, I don't know, I don't really feel any sort of connection with, with any of them, but not to say it's bad, and I think there's going to be some sort of twist at the end of it coming up as well, so I'm looking forward to seeing what that is. But it's really about the, the, the gameplay that I really do enjoy. This map could be better. I think I'm supposed to go here. Yeah. And there was a section that... Because um, I was playing co-op with Tom just a minute ago, until he got kicked out. Uh, there was a section that we found... We don't know what that is. It must be for a side quest. We'll have to go back and explore that later. Yeah, I think I've left most of the side quests, so maybe the side quests give you more story and stuff. I don't know so much about story. I think there's some good rewards for some of them, because I did one or two, just because I happened to be there at the time. And uh, they seem like pretty decent rewards, so at higher level, it will be nice. And I'll get my world tier ramped up doing those as well. So just join in any time yeah, you manage to get the server back on there. We're so close. The signal's coming from just beyond this ridge. Stay on the lookout. You see any movement, run. Oh, there's a whole town here. Full of weird, floaty bubble stuff. Sit tight, people. Babylon. I'm gonna clear the way. It's time for some answers. Let's do a hard reset on the Xbox. Mm, I'll hold off modding anything. What's what does she do? Oh, she's for customizing the truck. Let's just take a quick look at what we're up to on there. What have I unlocked? Yeah, Patent I don't her. that again. I don't get that because Jakob was our driver, and he was just when we landed on the planet, he was our driver. So is it just because she's his daughter that she can drive? Or can everybody drive? Or I honestly don't know. I think I'm thinking too much about... Yeah. Things like that. Can we put a trailer on I do on like this? her character, though. I think her character could be quite interesting. We want to... Do we have a rocket launcher? I have a military trailer. There we go. That looks better. We'll have that on.
Well, I'll do the quest as a as a side quest as a way of getting my world tier up. So that's that's where I'll do that because I'll be approaching max level by that point anyway. And uh, if we get stuff that's well, we can always upgrade it. It's a nice thing about this game. You can if you have the resources, you can just spend to upgrade something you like. But uh, we'll just I'll not worry about it. And just enjoy it. Enjoy the ride. Let's put some chains on this. So interesting. I've got a lot of things still to unlock there. My banner. I'll leave the banner. A lot of that seems to unlock under the accolades things. Not that I've ever been concerned with um, in any game actually with uh, cosmetics and stuff. So just we get what we get. That's a weird thing with cosmetics what in games. Have here? People often pay quite a bit to get, uh, you know, when, when the, there isn't in this game, but games with microtransactions. Say, oh, I'll have that skin or uh, that's that coat or something. That looks really cool. Or they go to great lengths to grind it. And really, most of the time, it's for the benefit of other people in the game to look at rather than you. Like in Cyberpunk, for example, Zahidi, where it's all first person. I found some more writing from Monroy's people. I think we must be approaching their colony. Though it is amusing when you open your inventory so and realise just how stupid the clothing is inside. He suspected the packs were trying to sabotage him. It was bad. Then, just as a storm was brewing up, they caught the packs doing one of their obelisk rituals. Did Monroy think the packs were causing the storm? I, uh, thought the same thing when I first saw August in those ruins in the forest. And look where that got you. Monroy ordered his soldiers to stop them. It was on that day that Dr. Indira recorded the first pack's deaths. Please collect all the writing you can find for me. Perhaps so we did can that guy survive then? Uh, Tiago? Yeah. I didn't see him. He's back at the camp. Let's have a quick look. Hey Finn, how's it going? This is a, uh, it's like a looter shooter game. Um, and you can be mistaken. For th well, it is, it is a cover shooter. You can use cover. Not here in this bit, you'll see in a bit. Uh, but, uh, but really it's a lot more fast paced and more fluid than most cover shooters like The Division. Um, and you, you tend to, to, to run into close combat quite a lot more and charge around and get some good momentum going. Yeah, he's still here. He's not even scarred or anything. Because he looked like he was getting his ass kicked well and truly. Yeah, he should have been squashed three times over, shouldn't he, really? Yeah. This is a co-op game as well, and it's cross-platform, but unfortunately the Xbox platform is currently down. Went down right in the middle of a boss fight, kicking um, the voice of Todd out. So I'm just running this solo. And it does rebalance the game depending on the number of players involved. Dramatically, as it turns out. I think what happened is the patch went live. And that's just killed everybody that's on a lesser build level. Right. Because I'm now downloading the 3.5 gig patch that might let me on. So that'll be done in about five minutes. Let's get in there. Right, if I can join, I will. And if not, then I'll just watch. No worries. Get out. So I get him? I mashed him. This doesn't count as cover, really? Oh, something set me on fire there. Right, so we've got a sniper in the distance. You would have thought when you used your the gravity leap, that thing where you turn into stones and then throw yourself at an enemy. Is that what that is? Yeah. You thought if you use that, you'd not be on fire anymore? Yeah, you'd think so. Wait for that sniper to get out of the way. I'll take this guy out on the left. And then I'll make my way over to him. The gravity leap's excellent for getting rid of snipers. Javelin strike? Oh god! Oh, not, not the best time to um, suddenly require a reload. Ow! Can I get that shield off, please? Ouch, 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 ouch. Mash them. I need, I'm going to get out of here. 
Oh, I like the old cowboy Wild West wagon thing going on there. Right, spook around a bit. Can I shoot that down or not? The boss coming in. I'm gonna go oh, for it. This, re this reminds me of something else. Is right. it Borderlands? Up we go. It might be Borderlands. Ouch! Who the hell's shooting me? Oh, okay, I need to get out of there. Although, probably not with that. There is a lot of angry aliens around here. I need yeah, my super jump back. No, come on, trigger, trigger, trigger. You scumbag, why would that not trigger? Can right, the what have we got? Can shoot you out of there? Mm, no, they can't. Can I hit him? <laughs> that ability is not so useful. I'm going to have to change that out. And if you were using that with a shotgun, would you... Is it because you're not kicked out? Well, you put the SMG in there, so... Oh, I am is dead. Problem. That is interesting, right? Because I've got a talent perk. I, this must be bugged. Because I've not seen this. Let me read this. I might have misread this. Uh, Calcor, thank you very much for the bits. Cheers. Thanks for that. How are you doing today? So I've got this perk here, Unbroken Vow. I've got a 100% chance to ignore damage that would kill me and gain 50% of my max health. The effect may occur once every three minutes. So I don't think I get any warning of that going off. So I, it might have might have occurred earlier in the fight, but I didn't think it had. But it certainly didn't work there. So unless it had gone off within the previous three minutes and I didn't know, that's not working quite as it says. Could that be what the, the phallic icon was? Well, that's still there. Where can you see... Um, where can you see what your buffs are? Can you see what your buffs are, in fact? Hang on, is that not... Um, no, it doesn't show me what the icon for that is. It just, it just got... An, there must be some way of seeing what that means. I press V. Oh, oh, that, oh that's the emote menu. Okay. Suggests thinking. Hmm. So, it could be that, so we'll have to count and see when that goes off when it appears. I thought that was on the entire time. 